When Earth's Sea's thousand and one islands were born, the nameless ones ruled with their evil energy engulfing the planet. Until a powerful amulet was forged from the faith of a devout order of priestesses, which kept Earth's Sea at peace and the nameless ones restrained deep beneath the temple on the island of Atuan. But then the amulet was broken, and evil in the form of car guide invaders questing to rule the world spread across Earth's Sea like a plague, leaving only the priestess's faith and prayer to guard the door and keep the nameless ones contained. An ancient prophecy told of a young wizard who would someday arise to reunite the amulet and bring a lasting peace to the world of Ursi. Conscientiously studying hard, might make it to my level one day. You mean down really low? No, uh, I need to take you to the heights. I mean, to take you to places you've never been. Oh, and you think you know how to do that? It's a knack. I think I've got it. Oh, you do, do you? Uh -huh. uh, that kind of a knack? No, not that kind of knack. But uh, I'm glad you showed it to me. Uh, you have no idea how much trouble you're in, get of ten alders. I thought you'd be pleased. <laughs> easy, easy. Well, I'm not. Get? Ged, what is it? Ged. Ged, Ged, what's happening? Did you have another one of your visions? The one with the door, the girl. You scare me when you do that. You're scared. Try having visions that make no sense. Maybe you should get back to work. I'm okay now. All the more reason for you to go. ones, but to control their power, I must first release them. Then I need to know how to open that door, Kossel. A door secured by secret means, and that secret secured in a single mind. The High Priestess Thar, who learnt it from her predecessor, and will teach it to her lovely, lovely successor. And when I am chosen and learn the secret, I will slip into your chamber and crawl into your bed and whisper it in your ear. And then, my dearest Kossel, all of earth she shall be ours. this wizard talking? Uh, no, Your Majesty. Really? And that is because? He's... Uh, dead, sire. 
You were perhaps a bit overly enthusiastic. Oh, he was very frail, Majesty. But before the end, he did. Um... Please, tell me. He confirmed the prophecy, sire. That Amagus will arise, will reunite the Amulet of Peace, and will end all war on Earthsea. As I'm well aware, what I want to know is when he will arise. That's what this wizard revealed to your majesty. He's already arisen. What? He's here on Earthsea now, sire. At last. And his name? <laughs> what is his name? This wizard died before we could extract it, sire. But he did give some insight. You will know him by the evil that he does. Riddles? I hate riddles. <laughs> I'm sure you keep the other one alive a little bit longer. something? Some interesting hammering, perhaps? Spare me the sarcasm. We do this for a living, you know. A living? Is that what you call it? Aye. Earning your keep by the sweat of your brow. What's wrong with that? Nothing. There's nothing wrong. It's just that the Portagon is 20 miles up the coast. And they say it's bursting with life, full of ships, and interesting characters from all over Sea. You know something? We've never been there. We've never had any reason to go. <clears throat> there are a thousand islands on Earth's sea, maybe more. Have you been to any of them, even one? I'm sorry if the life I offer you isn't good enough, kid. It's the best I can do. I keep us fed. I keep a roof over our heads. What more do you want? <clears throat> These repairs need taken back. Not till we're done here. Be back before you know I'm gone. Stop right there. Get come back here! Good as new. Your father's work? Ah, uh, yes. No one better at patching a pot. You make it sound like an insult. Your father deserves your respect. And a little compassion, too. It's not been easy for him, raising a child by himself. I'm not a child anymore. Maybe if he tried seeing that. Maybe if he tried understanding who I am. Life would have been different for you had your mother lived. So, what's the spell to be today? Is it the one creating ice? Should I sit? Let me sit. Actually, I was just going to make myself a salad for lunch. Would you like some? No. I'm not really hungry. Marion, how did you learn everything about magic? Truthfully, I don't remember. I don't remember anything before the storm washed me up here. Your mother took me in, you know, and nursed me back to life. She was a good woman, your mother. Mm. I wish I could have known her. She would have been very proud of you. For what? I mean, I've hardly done anything. I probably never will. You know, I think she would have wanted you to have this. I can't. It's yours. Dead? It was with me when she found me. Take it in remembrance of your mother.
Ged! Ged, where the hell are you going? Ged, answer me! Don't you run away when I talk to you. I'm fed up with your disrespect. I thought I saw something. Oh, more of your wizard nonsense. Well, you're no wizard. You're a blacksmith. Get used to it. I won't get used to it. I'm better than that. Better? You insolent pup! I hope. Warn the village. Tell the men to gather their weapons. To fight Kargad warriors? Better to die like men than be hunted down like rabbits. Go! Jonathan, come here. Very Down the walls. There's that son of yours. He'll be here. There's no sign of him. I said he'll be here. You must remember. I can't remember, Ged. Mary, and you told me yourself you've done it before. So long ago. I don't have the strength anymore. It doesn't matter. I do. All you have to do is remember the spell. <laughs> think he's doing? I have no idea. Ged, whatever you're doing, do it quickly because they're coming. Stand your ground! Ged, take the sword! Damn you! Take the sword! Your Majesty, to what do we owe this honor? I've come to seek spiritual guidance, Venerable Mother. I hope I can provide it. I'm sure that you can. As you know, I've dedicated myself and all the resources available in an effort to bring order to our world of Earthsea. Word has reached us of your conquest, Your Majesty. One at such cost. But it's a lengthy process. There is much resistance. Have you not asked yourself whether our island nations might be better left to rule themselves. As a matter of fact, I have. And the answer was no. Earthsea needs unity and order. Yes, but if the price of unity and order is so... Venerable Mother, I didn't come here to discuss my campaigns. I came here to tell you of my fears. 
My fear is that I won't live to see my work completed. No one knows the time we have allotted, Your Majesty. True. Maybe except for the immortals. The immortals? The nameless ones live forever, do they not? That seems to be true. So they must possess the secret of that immortality. Not necessarily. They are immortal, but they don't know why. So can they not teach us it? The nameless ones cannot teach us anything, King Tigath. They can only destroy us, which is why it is my order's vow to ensure that they will be restrained forever and yours to ensure our success. Perhaps robbing Earthsea of great power. Power for good? If it were in the right hands. There is no right hands for the nameless one, King Tigath. Our world almost came to an end once before, when another Kargai king had the same reckless notion. They should never be released. And as far as I'm concerned, they will never be. The wizard is already on Earthsea. I must control the nameless ones before he's able to fulfill his prophesied destiny. You asked Thar to help you? Yes, and she refused. I cannot kill her before the secrets have been passed on, but she must pass them on soon. Only to her successor. Then she must be encouraged to select one. She must select me. Then see to it that she does. Saved us all. This is he who wove the spell of concealment. Aye. He died on the high false. Did he now? He's scared. You're back with us now. Back from where? From the darkness. What did you do? Restore your son to you, Blacksmith. His spirit had not yet left him. Who are you? My name is Ojian. The Great Wizard. How can I repay you, Magus? Allow me to give Gerd his real name. No, he has a name. My wife and I, rest her soul, we gave it to him. Blacksmith, know you not that every living thing has 
a secret name in which his power resides. And in this young man, there lies much power. You want to turn him into a magus? You restored him only to take him away? I don't know yet. Will you at least permit him to find out the name his soul should bear? the name in which your power resides. Tell no one except those you trust with your soul. For the rest of the world, you must remain Gad, son of the blacksmith of the village of Ten Alders. Sparrowhawk. Do you wish to learn the ways of magic, Sparrowhawk? It would mean putting all that you know and love behind you. Such power. You say you're going to the earth. Yes. Then ask your father's blessing. His blessing? Why would I need that? Consider it a test in humility. Father, I wish to study with OG and to be a wizard. And I ask your blessing on me. Hmm. Why should I give it? When it means forsaking everything I provided for you. Giving up the home your mother brought into the world. Because and... it's what she wanted for me, isn't it? She wanted us to be a family. But we're not. And I now have a chance to be somebody. Do you begrudge me that? I don't begrudge you, son. But I do fear for you. I truly fear. It was good, though, wasn't it? I'd have gone mad without you. Oh, God, I'm not sure I made all that much a difference. <laughs> Just go. Thanks. <laughs> Again? I hope you find her. Find who? The girl you've been dreaming about. Raiding party gone. We saw the mist from the ship, sire. It swallowed them up and then they were lured over the cliffs. Very convenient mist, this for those villagers. There was talk, sire. Talk of what? Talk of wizardry. Was there now? And a wizard? 
A young lad, Your Majesty. Unknown till then. Is that so? And his name? We never found out, sire. But it doesn't signify. He's dead. Dead? Despite his victory over my men? He went right over the cliffs in the fight. Did he now? Well, so be it. I'm off to join the troops at York, but if there's anyone news about unusual wizards, I want to be notified at once. Understood? It is my understanding, sir. Good. Three foot overseed, mixed every day for a week. Thank you. What will we do without you, Master? Struggle on, friend, as we all do. I didn't realize being a wizard involved so much animal husbandry. The wizard's job is to serve the people he lives among, yet whether the animals are sick, or the crops fail, or they're threatened by car guide warriors. Our task simply is to make life on Earth see tolerable, as I hope you are learning. Well, frankly, Magus, since I've been with you, I don't feel I've learned a thing. Is that so? Well, perhaps that is because you haven't figured out what I've been teaching yet. You sent for me, Sister Castle? I did. Come in, Rosa. I've been watching you with great interest and have come to believe that you have much greater potential than anyone so far has acknowledged. Potential, sister? Yes. And if I ever become High Priestess, I shall see to it that you receive your full due. Well, thank you, Sister Castle. I am very honored. But of course, for now, it is my sacred duty to aid and protect our Mother Thor. And to that end, I need your help. My help? Mother Thor is unwell. She goes to great lengths to conceal it. She stubbornly refuses to take her medication. We must see that she takes it. A few drops concealed in her daily tea. Without her knowledge? That doesn't seem right. Is it right to let her waste away? Do it, Rosa. For her sake. For the sake of our sisterhood. You will be rewarded one thousandfold. Is it true a wizard can move clouds around in the sky so he never gets rained on? Yes, Gad, quite true. Well, I'd be interested in seeing that. Perhaps now would be a good time? Ogeon. What's the use of having power if you don't use it? That's what I want you to think about, Sparrowhawk. I get it. I said, I get it. OGN. Not those get. Well, don't I need powerful spells if I'm to become a powerful wizard? I don't want you to become a powerful wizard. Until you master yourself. Which requires years of roaming the hills, gathering herbs, learning the nature. Letting knowledge seep into your bones. Seep? Why is that such a strangely unattractive word? I think it's a good word. I like it. Come, let's eat. Vegas, is there something moving in my bowl? You've never heard of eel and fish hair chowder before? 
No. No, I haven't. It's one of my mother's best. You develop a taste for it over time. And what is the chief duty of the priestesses of Atuan? To bring the strength of the gods to Atuan to the high priestess for the protection of all earthly sisters in our. That's right. <laughs> and it is the duty of the high priestess to use that power to. Venerable Mother. Venerable Mother. Oh, please, I came to talk to you, teacher. Tanar, I just finished going through the examination paper for the young priestess. You came first. <laughs> With the highest grade any priestess has ever achieved in the history of our temple. <laughs> Finish your lesson and come to my office. I want to talk about your future here. Any idea what almost happened here? I'm sorry. I, I didn't think it was no, going to No, you didn't think, did you? That's not your style. Sorcery isn't a game we play for pleasure, for praise, lad. Every word, every act of our art is done for good or for evil before you speak or do. You must know the consequences. All right, I understand. No! Certainly you didn't. Well, this never would have happened. No, this never would have happened if you didn't waste my time gathering useless herbs and watching sheep sneeze. Oh, I've forgotten that you're above the work of a humble wizard, just as you were above the work of a mere blacksmith. That's not what I meant. Master, all my life I've been told I was a fool, a dreamer. And now I find I have this appetite to learn everything as fast as I can. Is that wrong? You're not wrong, but not wise. If you stay with me, you'll need patience. Do you have patience, Cat? I know I should say I have, but that wouldn't be true. No, it wouldn't, would it? The 
there's another way. And perhaps it might be. Have you heard of the Island of Roke? The Island of the Wise, of course. But I thought that was for those who have extraordinary ability. Which you have. What do you think? That's simple. Stay with me and let wisdom grow. Now you wish you had nest, don't you? I don't want to leave you, Ojian. I owe you my life. You owe me nothing, Sparrowhawk. But if you feel my path is too long and slow, you must make the choice yourself. Rogue Island or Ojian. time away. Yeah, I figured you for a landlubber. Well, don't worry about it. You'll be back home someday. <laughs> you don't mind me asking? Oh, <laughs> easy there. <laughs> How'd you end up on this tub? My magus parted my passage. Magus? So where are you bound? Broke. What's it like? Oh, I've never been. Wizard's Island. What do you want to go there for? Oh, uh, I see you're one of the powerful ones, eh? Well, I better stay the right side of you then, hadn't I? Well, we'd all better stay in the right side of them if we want a better wind. They're still out there. Can you do anything about this breeze, young Magus? No, Captain. I'm not trained at sea wizardry, but I could conjure a mist if you want it. Well, a fat lot of good that's going to do. Have you any skills with a compass? Can you help us steer? No, sir. I got a rope to learn these things. Then you join the oarsmen for the trip, my friend, for we afford no passengers here. Scourge, take him below, find him an oar, and take one for yourself as well. You've coiled more than enough rope for one day. <laughs> All right, sir. Come on, then. So, uh, how are you at making people disappear? again, yeah! and Earth she shall be a safer place for it. Yeah! And Atawan, a richer one, sire. True. I must confide there's something intoxicating about the power of death, slitting a man's throat, feeling his warm life drain upon one's fingers. To control life, that is the greatest power of all. It's only a matter of time. Your Majesty, before we control it all. And on every island we take, the first thing we seek is information. Information, sire. About that young Magus, who we must find and kill. To your men, General. like that. I can't wait to get started. Doesn't it scare you, that kind of thing? No. I've been wanting this my whole life. 
would rather be sailing into a raging squall any day. But I wish you luck. Son of Dunane? Yes. I bear a letter from the mage Ogian for the Archmagus of the school. Very well. Enter, if you can. enter without your help. How true. <laughs> but I can't help you if you don't tell me who you really are. Sparrowhawk. I'll take your letter to the Archmagus. Messengers are meant to wait by the river entrance. Well, that could be, but I'm no messenger. I've come here to study. Ah, huh. disguised as a peddler. <laughs> Did they consider that a jest here at Roke? You're obviously from somewhere distant and doubtless obscure. Allow me to inform you, you have the honor of addressing Jasper of Eolg of the House of Havnor. Ah, Jasper. I'm glad you've taken the initiative of welcoming the new arrival. I am Archmage Nimmerl, Archmagus of this school. It's an honor to be here, sir. Listen to this, from Ogeon of Gaunt. I send a young man who could be one of the great wizards of Earth's sea if the wind blow true. Quite a testimonial from a wizard of such esteem. Most impressive. Especially coming from one of Roke's prized graduates. Ojin what here? Oh, yes. A most distinguished alumnus. Welcome to Roke, Ged of Ten Alders. And may your stay here be profitable to you and to Earthsea. Jasper. Archmagus. Show Ged around. Introduce him to his fellow students. Explain some of our traditions. Now, Archmagus. Yes, why not now? Tomorrow you start a program of studies which will not cease until you have become all that it is in you to become. Which, if Ogeon is right, is quite a lot. Well, where to start? I wonder what it feels like to be a beginner. It's been so long. This way, then. Could use a bit of salt. Ah, vetch. 
The perfect table companion for you, Ged. Vetch is a fisherman's son, so he can tell you all about bait, and as you're a blacksmith's lad, you can tell him all about, um, bellows. He's very good at that. Cutting remarks, painful innuendos, humiliating insinuations. If his magic were half as good. Let's get you some food. You got anything actually edible in there? You know, hidden away. It's this lad's first day, so uh, show some compassion. Mm. Where are you from, Gan? Gaunt. And you? Bemish. Ah, Bemish. Well, you've never heard of it, have you? Not really, no. Not really. I'll let you off without this once, but what you have to understand, my friend, is that Vemish is the paradise of Earthsea. Has he been bending your ear about Vemish? Ignore her, Ged. Look. Vemish is right next to Ifish, which is just across from Talk. And this, this is the bay where you can hear the mermaids singing in the moonlight. to Relk, Ged. Oh, Tenar, you do make me laugh. Oh, Kossel, I have some very good news. Tenar here has just graduated first among the younger priestesses. Well done, Tenar. I'm so pleased for you. I remember when you first came here. A lost, frightened little orphan, full of questions. You were a charming little waif. Bursting for understanding. Wasn't she, venerable mother? And you, Castle. You were so, so formidable. I'll take that as a compliment. I've allowed you to take on far too much work over the years. I decided to ask Dinar to take on some of your responsibilities. As you wish, Venerable Mother. Are you unwell? Well, something must have disagreed with me. If you'll excuse me, I'll, I need to lie down. Lesson 14 in the lesser arts of changing the pebble. Get on with it, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, a pine cone. I was hoping for a pound cake. I guess this will do. That is good. Brilliant. What are you trying to make me feel inferior? Diamonds. Well done, Gid. Look at these, everybody. Perfect diamonds. And these are for you. Well, that didn't last long. You didn't expect it to stay that way, did you? Well, why shouldn't it if the magic's strong enough? Because to change a rock into a jewel, you must change its true name. It can be done, but it should not be done. Not even to a single grain of sand until you know the good and evil that will follow. I don't understand. Good and evil, isn't it just turning one thing into another? If the Isles of Earthsea were turned into diamond, how many people do you think would survive? Things are as they are for a reason. At the very least, you must understand that reason before you decide to change them. Well, that's fine, but I still want to know how to do it. I'm sure you do, Ged. I'm sure you do. 
but you will not learn it here. Not until you learn true wisdom. In some ways, this is the most dangerous of the arts, because you are making things move through time and space at your command, as when I make this creature appear. Venison. I've never known anyone to see the entire world through their stomach before. Now you do, my friend. Master Summoner, you spoke of time as well as space. Does that mean a wizard could conjure anything dead or alive? No wizard would conjure up the dead, young man, because they cannot be sent safely back to where they came from. That's not going to get you out of here any sooner than the rest of us. I don't want to leave. Every time we learn the true name of something, we gain power over it. I want to get as much power as I possibly can. Well, I've done another one. Master Namer, I'll take my next. Yes? Another? Yes, right. Right away. Uh, you were in the middle of... Let me see. Canis, Castor, Service. Yes, here we are. Uh. Kate. At this rate, you're going to be the most powerful wizard in FC. And the most annoying show off. Come on, out of the way. We've been on a steady diet of words for the last three months, and I want something you can actually chew. Room, please. What's going on here? Thank you. Uh, it appears the amazing Jasper is going to summon something. Hold your applause to the end. A young aristocrat's mm -hmm. condescending to put on a magic show? Me thinks he does it to impress the ladies. I didn't realize they're that easy to impress. <laughs> you'd like to impress us with a demonstration of your own. You could make something minuscule seem enormous. Your brain, for instance. <laughs> you may want to try that trick on yourself, Jasper. Just aim a little lower. <laughs> Are you sure you want to try this? Why not? I think it'll be quite an adventure. And look how free it is. Besides, any wizard worth his salt should be able to shapeshift. Yeah, no one's questioning ability here. It's just a minor matter of breaking the rules. Meant to be broken, Vetch. Meant to be broken. Yeah, try saying that to the Arch Magus. Speaking of breaking the rules, I hear the splendiferous Jasper's going to be offered the wizardship of Pender when he graduates. Quite a coup for someone his age, wouldn't you say? I'm sure he deserves it, and he'll do a wonderful job. Oh, please. We both know he's a second-rate show-off with a big head and rich relatives. People like having an aristocrat for their wizard. He'll do fine. Yeah, well, you'd do much better. Maybe certain people would shut up for a minute. All right. All right, watch this. I think I finally got it. Yes, you did it! I mean, what have you done? This is crazy again! And dangerous! Yeah, I'm yelling at a bird. If 
right shape shifting yet, Jasper? It's much more impressive than making apple trees, don't you think? There's no need for me to name the student who did this. He knows who he is. But I want to take this moment to warn you all of the dangers of shape-shifting. You may have heard the tale of the wizard Borgia of Way, who delighted in taking the shape of a bear, and did so more and more often, until the bear grew in him, and the man died away, and he became the bear, and killed his own small son in the forest, and was then hunted down and slain. This shape-shifting business is not something to be toyed with. Is that understood? Understood, Archmage. You're even lower than I thought, Jasper. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about you sneaking to the Archmagus about my doing something you can't. You have no idea what I can and can't do, little man. We don't run in the same circles. You think I want to? Oh, you want to, blacksmith boy. Your whole life spent trying to become something you're not. The more you try to prove yourself my equal, the more you show yourself for what you really are. <laughs> oh, yes. Brute force and ignorance, eh? The tools of your trade. Well, it's Magus power we value here, not horsepower. You think you have more Magus power than I do? Well, that sounds like a challenge. All right, blacksmith, I accept. It wasn't a challenge. Tell him, Ged. Stop this, both of you. Duels and sorcery are forbidden. You know that. There you are, bumpkin, a way out. Feel free to back off. So what'll it be? Ged, leave it alone. What about summoning a spirit? You think I can't do that? From the dead. What about the Lady Elfarin? Could you summon her, or would that be too hard for you? Are you out of your mind? It's fine with me. Gad, don't do it. Why not? Why not indeed? Rogue Woods, Midnight. You're not a summoner, Gad. And as for the Lady Elfarin, I... Why not her as well as anyone else? Jasper, give this up. Doing sorcery without reason is like lighting a fire in a forest. You know that. Tell him. Doesn't matter. He can't do it. He hasn't got it in him. Well, that's what he has to learn. Let's see.
have you done? Something horrible happened here tonight. Something beyond anything I've known. <sighs> May I have faith, Prefect? I saw him. Who? And it was as though I knew him. My liege! Ah, General Dawn, just in time. It's the truth, sire. We are invading Rope. We are indeed, General. My Magus has just revealed himself. Come, set sail and have the rest of the fleet follow us as soon as they put up to sea. Which Magus? Good. How are you feeling? I'm so sorry. So ashamed. I too am ashamed of you and of this institution for producing someone who could commit such an act of folly. Archimagus, I didn't... You have great power in you, Sparrowhawk, and you utterly misused it. You tried to summon a spirit of the dead, and instead you brought out the most fearsome being our world has ever known. You released a nameless one. I saw it as a shadow. The shadow of your ignorance the shadow of your arrogance. You brought a being of utter evil into the world whose only objective, its deep soul-gnawing hunger, will be to find you and possess you. Possess me? Devour your soul. And as your powers are great, so when that happens, it will become great, and all Earth's sea will be endangered. It is a shadow now, but soon it will kill absorbing its victim's body to become a creature even more horrible. A gibbeth. And then you will really have reason to fear it. Is there no way to defeat it? None. Unless you know its true name. Then I must go to the Master Namer. Ged. He has no way of knowing. Then what am I to do? As soon as you're strong enough. You must leave Roke, never to return. Leave Roke? Go where? Wherever in the world it will least expect to find you. That is your only hope. But get well first. You'll need all your strength. And at the moment we were blown to the floor, the, the young wizard was attacked by this, this great shadowy beast. It was horrible. Who is this wizard? I don't know. If your vision be true, this is a particularly evil Magus. How so? Because if the two events are related, he would signify the most ominous act. One of the nameless ones was released. There has never been anybody or anything in the history of our temple powerful enough to overcome our faith. But what happened at the door might have been beyond my powers. And if that is so, our temple is endangered. No. No, not with you to lead us, Venerable Mother. I don't know that I still have the strength my mission requires.
dead. I'm so glad to see you. We were all afraid you were going to die. How do you feel? Frail. Furious with myself and very, very stupid. I really made a mess of things, didn't I? Yeah, on an epic scale. But you're alive. That's what matters. That looks pretty nasty. Oh, I'm not in pain. That thing possessed an ungodly strength. It flicked me aside like a bug. Were you hurt? My feelings mostly. But it could have killed you, Ged. So it will. What do you mean? It is my fate. The Shadow's only purpose is to see me gone. And to make matters worse if that's possible. My wizard training here has come to its end. What? The Archmagus asked me to leave Roke. That's not very sporting of him. But this could all work out. I'm also leaving Roke. I've gotten my appointment as a wizard. You finished the course? You got your staff? Believe it or not. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. And guess where the job is? Home. Vemish? Paradise on Earth? That is wonderful. That settles it. You're coming with me. We're, we're going to Vemish together. I appreciate the offer, Vetch. I can't tell you how much that means to me, but... but... I can't do that to you. I've become a fugitive to be hunted by the shadow till I'm done. I can't bring that into your life. Or the lives of the people you'll be looking after. All right. But if you ever need me, call on me by my true name. Hysteria. Hysteria. I am Sparrowhawk. We meet again, my friend. There's Rogue now, sire. We've beaten the rest of the fleet by at least a day. Good. That's strange. What do you make that to be? There. Who the hell are you? Archmage Nemel. Archmagus of Rope. We certainly know how to make an entrance, Archmagus. To what do I owe this pleasure? My desire to avoid unnecessary loss of life, Tiger. Really? And what loss of life would that be? Loss of life if you tried to take rope, because the weapons of rope are formidable. Oh, I'm sure they are. All I want, really, is some information about some insignificant young Magus. Not available. The Magus? Or the information? Neither, Tiger. And that is fine. King. Tiger! Seize him! Go back while you still can, Tiger, before you annihilate us all. Kill him! How dare he talk to you like that, sir? You heard him. He's the arch makers of Broke. Soon to be a memory. Now. Yes. When the rest of the fleet arrives, have half of them fan out from here and scour every island within a day's sailing radius from Oskil to Ilion. Certainly, sire. And the other half? Have them pay this pompous chief magician little house call.
two. Two fishers here. It's my hand. He's a boy. Listen, mate, I didn't know she was your wife, but I get there, I'm not the first, you know? I... Bit of a rough job, eh? Hey, let me get you a drink. Here, come on. Cheers. What are you doing here on our school? I'm really not sure. And you? Well, I'm on my way home after a profitable voyage. And how is that charming captain of ours? <laughs> I've long since booked off of that bard. But tell me, the last we met, you were on your way to becoming a wizard, weren't you? I am a wizard. Sort of. Well, good show. Where to next? Well, actually, things didn't go all that well at Rogue. Oh, really? I created a bit of a stir. Oh, how so? Let's just say I've taken the trap. Uh, well, it's not that bad, is it? Listen, <clears throat> you ever heard of a place called Terranon on the other side of the island? I can't say that I have. Well, now you have. That's where I'm headed. And from what I've heard, there hasn't been a wizard there in years. Why don't you come with me? We'll lodge here tonight, leave in the morning. There's a very fine goat house there, if you don't mind paying for it. <laughs> huh? I got a deal. Ah, cheers. <laughs> Barkeep. Oi. Another jug of your finest ale for my long lost friend. Right, lad. This is a bleak place. I suppose it's more cheerful on the other side of the mountains. I was saying I hope it's more cheerful where you come from. A living soul for hours. How much farther to your side of the island, George? You could do with some food and a bath. Hey, if you've fallen asleep on your feet, how much farther? What's wrong? Seems strangely familiar. Did I not name you once?
seen some trouble since we last parted, I think. I returned master as I left. A fool. Let's see what a good fire can do. Some memories? Ah, uh, yes. Reminds me why I left. <laughs> get it down, you, and get on with the story. And so I transformed myself. If you hadn't brought me back, that would have been that. It will find me sooner or later. Unless you know its name. No one knows its name. So you must defeat it. Defeat it? I fought it twice, and twice I fled in terror. Uh, perhaps the third time is the charm. OG and I have no strength against it. And if you were going to suggest that I stay here, the answer is no. I'm not inflicting that thing on you. Good. But in that case, I have a hard thing to say to you. Say it. You must turn around. Turn around. Yes. If you keep running, the evil will drive you. Choosing the way you go, you must do the choosing. You must seek what seeks you. And have it devour me when we meet? So that I am its creature and my powers are a danger to all no. I see? You must make this gabbit your horn. If you are a fugitive when it finds you, if you have used your strength in fleeing, it will prevail. But if you're doing the seeking, I'll be able to destroy it. I can't tell. But it's the best counsel I can give you. If you want to cease being hunted, you must become the hunter. You know, I've walked with great wizards and lived on the Isle of the Wise. But you are my true master, Ojia. Better late than never. <laughs> but you may be my master in the end. Thank you, Mangus. May it serve you well. And now, Master. Let's go hunting. for me, venerable mother. Sister Castle, our world is darkening, and I grow weaker. The time has come to appoint my successor. You wish me to call the priestesses into conclave? That is what I wish. They all know you as my strong right hand. It's time they also knew who will lead the temple when I'm gone. I understand completely. Just rest and relax. I'll arrange everything.
You're there, Gabeth, aren't you? Well, here I am. Why were you not inside us yet? Are you men incapable of breaking down a door? They cannot fight magic, Your Majesty. Who said that? Jasper of Eel, of the House of Havel. Oh, yes. How agreeable to finally meet you in the flesh, Jasper of the House. You've served me well. If I were to open that door for you, and you seize all of Rook, you would be needing a new Archmagus, would you not? And I gather you have someone in mind. Just get me in there, Jasper. Sisters, as our world darkens with each car guide conquest, my health continues to fail, so I feel the time has come for me to name she who will carry the secrets of the tombs after me. I hereby bestow the great belt of keys to she who will be the next high priestess. Come on, you man! Impenetrable. You should ask for your money back. Jasper. No, not you. We've given you power to bring light and goodness to the world. And instead, you've chosen darkness and evil. You break my heart. No, I think I'll do that. This is yours. You must have dropped it. Come to me and receive the tokens of your office, Sister Tenor. Sister Janar, come to me. Is over. Stop! If you destroy me, you destroy us both. So be it. I brought you into this world, and I will take you out of it. No! You must take me in, into your soul, so together we can be great. You mean evil? Evil, good, just words. Accept me. Let my power flow through you, and anything is possible. Exactly.
shadow, it'll happen both of us. <laughs> 